video to uh, show you how the stitch is formed on a four thread domestic overlocker very similar in fact to the industrial overlocker so let's have a look and see what we've got we've got four threads each one's a different color uh, you have red green on the needles and blue yellow on the loopers so as I hold the threads gently they're not there's no chain off just yet so if I hold the threads gently and turn the home wheel towards me you can now see that the upper looper this is this one here is over as far as it goes to the left hand side and both the needles are actually going to pick up the blue thread on the upper looper just slide down the back and holding the threads gently you can see the upper loop is going down and the needle bar is also going down and as the left looper which you can't see at the moment it's just gone in behind underneath the throat plate is now going to pick the threads up off of the back of the scarf of the needles and the loops will slide down the left looper and as the needles come up the two loopers cross over that's the left looper lower looper and that's the upper looper so if I just point that out again left lower looper right upper looper so the upper looper now has picked up the yellow thread off the lower looper and the thread as you can see here the yellow thread is sliding down into the corner of the upper looper and the process begins all again but as this lower looper goes back at the moment the upper looper uh, the um, sorry the needles are still on the lower looper until the lower looper goes back as far as it can to the left underneath the uh, the um, needle plate or throat plate they're hanging on the lower looper so I'm going to put a bit of tension on here now so here we go so you've just done one stitch another stitch going you can see it now it's chaining off on the chain off fingers which are these three fingers here and that's how a loop and stitch is formed so that's one you can see it a little bit better when I put a bit of tension on there there we go the stitch now is showing a chain stitch so that's exactly there it is all this chain stitch it's a little untidy because I haven't put the presser foot on the presser foot itself if you have a look here it's actually got two chain off fingers one slightly wider than the other one two and the thread will come the needles will come down between those uh, two uh, chain off fingers uh, which actually stabilize the actual upper uh, stitch so there you go that's how a stitch is formed so let me just do a couple more stitches and show you how it happens everybody says oh it's magic well it's a little bit more than magic but uh, it's it's very very interesting and anytime you have a tension issue you should have a look make sure you threaded uh, your loopers and needles correctly there we are so we're going to end this video